Simulating muscles in visual effects has been a long, expensive, and frustrating process. Welcome to Mastering Houdini Muscles, a studio-level VFX workflow. In this training series, you'll learn the secrets behind advanced visual effects muscle simulation. While other training series make the mistake of teaching a slow, high-resolution asset, we'll learn how to reconform muscles efficiently to any character and how to procedurally solve intersections so a human artist doesn't have to manually touch things up. We're going to cover simple and complex muscle examples, a variety of resources, and discuss real-world physics, properties, and how certain values affect behavior. We'll set up an efficient, reusable pipeline, including large networks with multiple file checkpoints so you can easily jump in at any point. We'll create a baseline character where we can adjust attributes that can be inherited to all of our future characters to get you up and running in a fraction of the time. We're going to look at the advantages and situations where we can leverage Franken muscles and multi-muscle setups and create a switch so we can easily blend between them. We're going to discuss how we can use only our asset to procedurally generate the tissue and skin volumes and learn efficient ways to store data so we can easily change topology or point count order anytime we like. The next section is all about tuning muscle behavior how to flex, inflate, and jiggle exactly the way we want. Then we're going to discuss how we can procedurally create masks to blend our simulation back onto only certain parts of our character. One of the most valuable chapters in this training series discusses automatic pre-roll generation. For years, this has been a manual human process. We're going to learn how we can procedurally generate and adjust this with simple sliders. Not only are we going to learn how to retarget animation from differently proportioned characters to any asset, but we're going to learn how to start our simulation from any part of the animation using the automatically computed best rest pose, ramp up, and pre-animation momentum. We'll also discuss neutralizing and restoring locomotion to fix superhero-like movement that moves too far and too fast. The best part is this network can be used for cloth, hair, or any of your character effects needs. While this training series primarily focuses on muscle simulation, we're going to cover foundational Houdini knowledge and concepts useful to everyone. This is a valuable introduction series to programming and tooling in Houdini covering Python, VEX, VOPS, HScript, and UI design. Then we'll dive into topics that bring this workflow from independent artist to studio level. We'll cover subnets, automated top networks, file caching, wedging, and logging with user notification. Next, we'll look at optimizing our simulation speed by integrating deadline render farm submission and support to take advantage of all of the computing power at our fingertips. We'll look at solutions to possible problems, pitfalls, and errors so you don't have to waste time solving them yourself. At the end of this training series, you'll be able to simulate any animation from any part of the animation with one click of a button. No more messy manual setups, no more frustration, no plugins required. We're going to create all this just with Houdini. My name is Noah Schnapp, and I've written and optimized multiple studio pipelines, and I'm happy to share with you the industry secrets I've developed and perfected over the years. This is Mastering Houdini Muscles, a studio-level visual effects workflow.